Hello everyone, Carrie Salee here and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be playing with our large format 12 by 14 gel press plate and starting out with a variety of stencils and some pan pastels. You can see I'm just using the pan pastel applicator to apply the pastel through the openings of my stencils. This one happens to be from the crafters workshop. And I'm just going over a variety of images, not really thinking about it. And then you're gonna see in a moment, I'm gonna flip it and layer it with some different colors. What we're trying to do here is just create texture and color. And because of the way the gel press plate is made, you can see that it kind of hugs our stencil. So we don't have to worry about our stencil moving around. And it also holds on to that pan pastel powder and it's going to give us you can see some really great vibrant and crisp images and I just love this technique because it's so fun and gives you just if you're one of those people that loves crispy stencil images this is a fantastic technique for you to try so I'm using just a variety of stencils this one is obviously a honeycomb kind of thing I'm having a little problem with my little my little applicator there. Um, and I'm just adding some various shapes here and there and alternating some colors because in order to retrieve the pan pastel from our gel press plate, very similar to the way you would with alcohol ink, we're going to apply some acrylic paint that then our gel press is going to release those pigments from the plate onto our acrylic and then it's going to be on our paper and it's gonna be fabulous. And as I'm finishing this up, today is actually gonna be almost a little bit of a double feature. We're gonna show you how to make this really fun print using our pan pastels and acrylic paint. And then I'm gonna show you just how to turn that into a super quick, super fun little um, one page album is what I call it. So it's kind of a mini album with just one sheet. And I'm just gonna be using just some plain acrylic paint in a lime green and kind of a I believe it's called like sunshine or moon yellow I can't remember and I'm using my brayer to just brayer that over again that pan pastel is going to be stuck to my gel press plate until it is released by that uh, by that acrylic paint I'm also using this at, to add some texture what's hilarious is that is actually a cat scratch piece from the Dollar Tree, but it makes really fun textures. For this particular project, since I am going to be turning it into something else, I'm actually using a, ooh, I hit my camera there, sorry about that. Um, I'm using a 12 by 12 watercolor paper. And just look how fun that is. I've got all my texture, I've got my color, and I must not have lined it up just exactly right, so I didn't quite get that edge. So I just went back and used almost like a ghost print to finish off that edge. And what's really fun about this technique as well is you can make multiple prints just from applying that pastel once. Another fun way to do this technique is to use eyeshadow. Yes, I said eyeshadow. It's a great time to go to the Dollar Tree or maybe use some, maybe, I don't know, some eyeshadow that you've had for a long time and don't love. Um, you can do this exact same technique with uh, any kind of powder like that. So if you have any kind of medium that is that powder finish, it works great. And you can see I'm just doing the back of the page. Now the back of this page, since it is a watercolor, it is a cold press, so it has a little bit of a texture to it. So you can see I'm not getting as great of an image as I would, but that's okay. We're still gonna add some more texture, a little bit more color, because this is gonna be the inside of our album anyway. You're not really gonna see it as much as you're gonna see that outside portion. So I just added some contrasting turquoise paint, a little bit more of that cat scratch texture, weird thing to say. And you can see I've got some left on there. So I'm going to use just some regular copy paper just to pull some ghost prints before I clean off my plate later. So just giving that just a nice little rub just to release the rest of that pigment on there. And even those are great. The texture from the plates, the texture from my, 
my pigments, the texture from the paper, it all is super fun. So let's move on to a fun little project that you can do with any 12 by 12 piece of paper. So I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna fold it in half, I'm gonna open it back up and I'm gonna fold it in half the opposite way. So I've kind of made four little squares. And then I'm just gonna fold each of those backwards. You can kind of see how that's going right there. And I'm using my brayer just to kind of give me those nice crispy images. You can also use your scissor handle, a bone folder, any of that kind of stuff that works for you. Now here's where having something like a paper cutter or a, a if this is a, I think a score all, I don't know, I've had it forever. Anyway, it's a score. And so you want to score two inches in from each side. And that's just going to allow it to be much easier for us to fold it and to keep our sides even. So I want my green to be the inside of my little album. So I'm making sure that that is facing up as I fold those two inch pieces in and then fold it back in half. And then here's the only cutting you're gonna to have to do on this particular project. You can see I've kind of got it steepled there and I'm gonna just fold that just a little bit more. And now that we've got those four sections, you can see I'm gonna cut through three of them across that top spine, leaving that last one intact, which is gonna kind of hold our entire little album together. And I'm kind of working those creases to kind of make them a little more flexible. And you can see I've kind of worked it into a little star and then folded it back on itself. And voila, I have an adorable mini album made from just one piece of 12 by 12 paper. Now this part is optional. I do kind of like to go in and, and glue it together just to keep it a little more sturdy. But that is completely up to you. You can see I've got all those great textures, all those great colors going on. And off camera, I'm going to add just probably some little details to the front just to make it fun. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today's print and project and hope you guys have an amazing day and make sure you hit like and subscribe.